Hi friends. Today I have a book, Dot the Fire Dog. <gasps> Dot the Fire Dog lives in the firehouse and sleeps by the firefighter's big rubber boots. Their black jackets with yellow stripes hang on hooks next to their helmets. While the big red fire truck waits downstairs. The firefighters might be stirring a pot of spaghetti, or reading a book, or playing catch with Dot when ring, everyone stops. Now they move fast. They pull on their big rubber boots and put on their pants and their jackets. Don't forget your helmets. You too, Dot. Dot has a helmet. Dot and the firefighters jump into the truck and drive out the firehouse door. They turn on the sirens and everyone gets out of their way. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. The fire truck stops in front of the burning house. Dot and a firefighter run inside to wake up an old man who is sick in bed. The firefighter carries him to safety. Oh no, Dot hears a kitten. It must be trapped inside the house. Dot goes back. She comes out carrying the little kitten in her mouth. She saved the day. A firefighter climbs the ladder and breaks a window to let the smoke out. Down below, it takes three firefighters to aim the water at the window. It takes a while, but the fire is finally out. The firefighters load their gear onto the truck. The old man is feeling better. He thanks the firefighters, and the little kitten licks Dot's nose. Back at the firehouse, the firefighters step out of their boots and pants and hang up their jackets next to their helmets. Dot's helmet comes off too. Everything gets checked and put away. The truck gets washed outside behind the station. Now the firefighters can rest after a job well done. They might play a game of checkers or eat a bowl of soup. Dot takes a nap next to the big rubber boots, but she will be ready when the alarm bell rings again. Firefighters are a type of people we meet in our community and they help us stay safe. Bye friends.